Let's start with audience participation. That was a good way to start on Christmas Eve, I think. I want to do a poll and survey. We've all been to lots of Christmas pageants. I wonder who your favorite character in the Christmas pageant is. Is it the angels? If so, raise your hand for the angels. No hands for the angels. Poor angels. Is it the shepherds? Got a couple hands for the shepherds. Okay. Is it Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? Got a few hands for Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Is it the wise men? They're not there yet, but they're coming soon. Anybody for the wise men? Got one hand for the wise men. How about the animals? That's my favorite, too, definitely the animals. So you can imagine what it was like for me last Sunday when we had the live nativity. And we had the sheep and the goats right there, live out there in the yard with us. And we had Mary and Joseph and a real baby, which was really nice. And we had wise men who were dressed like wise men would be, I guess. I don't know. But it was the sheep and the goats who really knew what their job was. They were happy to be there. All they cared about was eating dry leaves and hay. We could have done whatever we wanted, had any story going on that we wanted, as long as they got that. They were perfectly happy to be there. Now, the goats needed to have attendants. They had to have supervisors, or they would have run off someplace. The goats have pretty strong opinions, it seems. But the sheep were just happy to be there. They were just happy to stay where they were. They didn't care what happened. Somebody put a halo on one of the sheep, and the sheep didn't seem to care. I will say, in the safety of this place, I have tried to put a Christmas costume on my cat several times and have the scars to prove it. <laughs> but a sheep would wear a halo and was perfectly happy to do it. At one point, one of their minders actually got down and sat on the floor to talk to the sheep and snuggle with them. They knew that person's voice. And so they stayed around where she was. They weren't going to run away. Tonight, dear friends, is when we all are sheep. I wonder if you have that voice that you hear, that you know, and that you trust. Can you think of who it is now in your head? Is it that person who can say, don't worry, it's okay, and you believe it? You remember when you first heard that voice? Maybe you were so small that you can't even remember the first time. But it's even better when that's true because it means it's always been there. It's always been in your head for as long as you can remember. Tonight, we, the sheep, are waiting to hear that voice. First, we're waiting for the shepherds to call us to the manger. Maybe the shepherds for you are the Christmas carols or the candles or the manger scene itself. Maybe it's the cookies. Maybe it's the family members you haven't seen for a year. But really, under all of that, the voice that we're hearing is the voice of Jesus. It's the voice of Jesus that we have always heard, that we have always known that we hear again tonight saying, I'm with you, I'm here, it's okay. Now, some of you may say, no, no, but wait a minute, tonight it's the voice of a baby. That's not, not quite what we were expecting. I want to remind you, dear friends, there's almost nothing that we hear quite as much as the voice of a baby. If you were here when we had baptisms on December the 10th, do you remember that day? There were two children baptized, one who was six and one who was about six months. The six-month-old child screamed through the entire service. There was no ignoring that child. That child was going to be sure that someone heard him and knew what he wanted. We can hear that voice through everything else, over everything else. Mark couldn't play the organ loud enough to drown out a crying child. <laughs> work with me here. Work with me here. It, 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 I'm on a roll. <laughs> That's the voice that we hear tonight, the voice that cuts through everything else in this world. All the fear, all the pain, all the uncertainty, all the doubt, everything else that tries to crowd that voice out, it will not be drowned out. It comes to us again tonight as it does year after year after year, and indeed day after day 
after day of our lives. It's just that tonight, maybe in the candlelight, as we draw near to the manger, we can hear it a little more clearly. Maybe the other voices are a little quieter tonight. I hope that's true for you, and it's true for me. Because for tonight, all we have to do is be sheep. Enjoy the hay. Stay near. Don't wander away. The voice is coming. The voice is speaking already. We can already hear it saying, I am with you. Fear not. That, dear friends, is all we need for tonight. To hear the voice. To recognize the voice. To draw near and be glad. And Merry Christmas to you now, tomorrow, and every day that follows. May that voice be there with you now and always. Amen.